Hello, I'm Lisa, and welcome to Lisa 6 and 3. Here's God's strength for you today. Here's a quote I want to read first. It is our decision, not our conditions, that determines our quality of life. By John Maxwell. Here is your strength for this day from the Lord. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted less loss for Christ. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. If the people. The Apostle Paul's ministry had been dubbed by distractors. Wherever he preached the gospel and Gentiles were converted to Christ, these so-called Jew desires soon followed with their brand of legalism. Their conviction was the Gentile converts had to fulfill all the regulations and requirements of Judaism, including circumcision for the men. They were iffy people who put legalism before justification by faith. These troublesome people obviously were active in Philippi, causing the new Christians to question their relationship with Christ by faith alone. In the passage we read from Philippians today, Paul confronts not only the iffy Jew desires, but the whole spirit of legalism. He asserts that he had met all the requirements of the law, but had no confidence in them. He counted them all, use, all useless in comparison to knowing Christ. All that he had been as a religious person did not bring him to redemption until he met Christ and received the gift of faith. Legalism is a constant distraction in any age. It's used by iffy people to express qualified acceptance. Secondary rules and regulations are made primary. The legalists assert that unless we meet certain practices and requirements, we are not really Christians. In our day, it can be certain behaviors or customs that we think are absolutely essential. We reserve our approval and acceptance until people measure up. Know any iffy people? Hmm. Ever been one? Hmm. Who are you who are you judging with the big if of if only did this, I'll accept you. If you ever did this, I'll accept you. Today's thought. Today, I will give up the big if. Thank you for listening to Lisa 6 and 3. Go make it a beautiful day and find your strength in the Lord.